Thank you. We've got new details at 7 on a crime spree in D.C. Five teenagers have been arrested in connection to 19 crimes this month. We're talking about armed robberies and assaults. WSA 9's Colby Satterfield looking into this for us. She's live outside D.C. Police headquarters. Colby, you've been talking with a youth violence advocate about what's happening. What are they saying? Yeah, she says that she's seeing a trend of young people doing things that aren't positive, and she says they could be acting out for a number of reasons, but she says there is still hope the community can combat it. Five DC teenagers between the ages of 13 and 19 charged and arrested for a string of armed robberies. 19 crimes in total, DC police say from July 3rd to July 14th. I'm not shocked, um, but I am disheartened. Tia Bell is the founder and CEO of the Trigger Project, a youth led youth gun violence prevention organization in DC. We're desensitized. Um, we've been oppressed. We've been uh, confined by COVID. So whatever is going to happen in the next few years is going to happen at a high magnitude because there's been so much suppression. Bell says she has also noticed more teens getting charged with crimes. It's a trend for young people to do things that are not as positive, that are antisocial, but there also has been years of manifestation of not being supervised and not having a community pour into our youth that has resulted in what we see today. Police say the crimes happened in Northwest, Northeast and Southeast DC. 10 of the robberies were in the overnight hours of Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Police say two women were hurt after one was hit with a handgun and another a rifle. A police report says phones, wallets, IDs and a purse were taken. Bell says kids she spoke with today weren't shocked by the teens going on a crime spree, rather empathized with them and blamed the community. So it's not new what we're exposed to. Um, of course, the culture of violence is starting to become more prominent, but it's OK because we can combat it. We can combat it. This week, President Joe Biden and D.C. Mayor Mariel Bowser discussed the violence in the district. D.C. is set to get $59 million to combating gun violence. Yeah, it's all about where that money is going to go, what sort of programs. This gun violence advocate you spoke to, Colby, anything she recommends? Yeah, for kids and teens to stay busy and in a positive way. And that's something her organization, the Trigger Project, focuses on. I have details on how you can get involved or for a child that you know. Those details are up right now on WUSA9.com. Adam. We'll check those out. Colby Satterfield, thank you.